Hello, hello, how are you? Uh, I'm trying something a bit new. I'm doing my Facebook Live from my webcam, which is up there. That was a blur. That's interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been a quite a quite a week. Um, it sort of started with these ideas around contact and stuff really flapping around inside my mind and me wanting to think about that because I'd had a conversation with someone the week before and I think last weekend we had family over. Um, birth family sounds horrible because they're just people. They're family now. It's kind of reached this point where they're not they're not birth family, they're actual family. Um, and so it was all a bit, it was just normal really. It was no big deal. Um, but it made me really think about that and how that came about and how that works and the impacts on our children and the people around us and how it makes our family feel and other people sound him. So I wrote that blog, which was really interesting because it provoked other people to write blogs, which was, again, very interesting. I think I was really encouraged by the fact that lots of people come forward and saying, I'm up for this, but I've been blocked here and I've been blocked there or there's questions I've got which are really good. And I had this uh, halfway through the week, I had this moment where I thought to myself, um, what wouldn't it be great if there was like a national contact service that was neutral, that families who were adopters could kind of go, actually, these feel like safe people and they'll facilitate the contact and they'll do it well and they'll do it, you know, they'll be on it and they'll they'll enable us to try to evolve with the age of the children and sort of head off any of the social media stuff that's going on. And But I also thought about the the issues around birth family and one of the biggest things i've kind of perceived as a social worker and as a grown-up and as an adult is that actually the people who take your children off you are not necessarily the people you want to talk to full stop so that that goes on and on and people see that i just think that the people want enduring relationships with the people who took their children off them and, I, and then that is a huge question that i think it's pretty obvious really isn't it um I'm just aware of what a total bomb site my office is. Fortunately, the camera's angled in a way so as you can't see it. Um, and so that's been interesting. And then um, my daughter had her baby yesterday, which was really exciting. Unfortunately, we've not been able to go in and see it. I think the good Mrs. C's been in this afternoon, but we've not been able to because there's some there's dengue fever or the bubonic plague is alive and well in the hospital, so we can't go. Um, which is all, which is all kinds of confusing and frustrating and causing all kinds of little, uh, the, the giddy ants are a bit, when I go and see them. Um, so I spent this afternoon and I just, I got this book, which came in the post this week, which is an interesting book. Is that, is that going to focus yet? Uh, a little book I'm reading to do some research because obviously that's, we all need a bit of research. The family inventions, that's great. I need to work out how to adjust the, uh, the brightness on my, on my camera which wouldn't make sense. Um, I've also been reading this. I found this book in my shelves, which kind of um, supporting direct contact. Yeah, supporting direct contact with, and that's really interesting. And that was, there was an article online for that. And then I've been reading this as well, which is, um, which I used when I did my degree, but I've been doing that because I'm doing a, I have to do some post qualification stuff, which is, if I can be frank, incredibly dull and I've lost the world to live. Counseling children, so I've dug that one out. And this is a great book. If you ever get, if you ever have £25 spare and you want to really get an idea around some really interesting progressive stuff around attachment theory, uh, which builds on all of the stuff that's gone before, but is probably the cutting edge, Raising Parents by uh, Crittenden is just a cracking book. It's not an easy read, I'll be honest with you. Um, Triangulated Parental Behaviour. Cluster one, distortions of normal child protective behaviour under responding to children. Barrel of laughs. Anyway, that's me going out and about. Um, so I'm going to go because uh, I'm bored. Four minutes is probably too long for a life, isn't it? What else is going on this weekend? I feel there's all kinds of scheming and plotting going on that um, is behind the scenes. Oh, this coming week, there's um, this debate in Parliament about CPV, which should be really interesting. And the Carrie Grant podcast came out this week. Uh, the what else? Scott and I are gonna we're planning and scheming our uh, our new podcast. I've worked out how to do video feed. Um, I think I think we might be able to do that. Anyway, I'll see that. That'll be interesting. Um, so lots and lots of interesting stuff going on as always. I shall keep you in formed and um have a great sunday evening i've done i've done two hours homework if my boss is watching i've been on the books for two hours so i don't have to do it tomorrow at work um reading a really exciting stuff about 
behavioural modification techniques. Oh, makes me sound all very sinister, doesn't it? It's all very starsy. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, and uh, this has been an experiment. I'm not sure I prefer my phone or this more. Hmm, not sure. And this is what, what, oh, let me see. No, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to press goodbye. End broadcast. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.